Okay, super real talk, and I'm pretty sure we've all experienced this. As someone passes you in their car, you can clearly hear their Bluetooth phone conversation. All the way from dialing, to the hello, to the, man, I, I really wish I didn't hear that. People like talk on the Bluetooth really loud. Thinking and like, it's private. Yes. But it's not. It's not. <laughs> yeah. So today, we're gonna set up a test to find out exactly how far away everyone can hear you when you're talking at normal volume on a Bluetooth car system. You ready to run it? Let's do it. Okay. Trust me, one day you're gonna be so happy that you have this information. Welcome to Carvana Car Lab. So here's a little background on Bluetooth just to get us started. The first Bluetooth car system was developed by Chrysler in 1999. This was done to combat the rise of accidents related to cell phone use while driving. And while that felt revolutionary at the time, talking on your phone through your car now seems so ordinary. Now, one thing that I just find so interesting, you can perfectly hear someone outside of their car with what feels like a private conversation inside the car. Some manufacturers go the extra mile to make sure the inside of the car is nice and quiet by adding sound deadening materials to the interior of the doors and cabin. This in theory should also prevent noise from leaving the car. However, if these vehicles have great stereo systems, then perhaps even the most insulated cars can't escape eavesdroppers or really just people going about their day and now have to listen to your conversation. Caught the tail end of that. Knowing this, we want to take two cars that appear multiple times on best audio system lists and put them to the test. Here are the cars that we're testing. Mazda CX-3. BMW 3 Series. Here's how we're going to do this. We're going to put a test subject inside one of the cars and have them deliver a pre-recorded message which will play at the same decibel level each time. Simultaneously, we'll have the other person outside the car start from 75 feet away and move closer 25 feet at a time to see if they can recognize what's being said at each interval. We will also be performing this test away from atmospheric noise that could distort the test. And just for fun, one of the test subjects will have a real confession for the other but hasn't found the courage to tell this person this information. Hey, Ashley, uh, just want to let you know that when the other person finally hears what's being said, we will know for sure, whether it be good or bad. My name is Elena and I'm roommates with Paul. Hey Paul, so good news and bad news, I finally got the- All right, Paul, we're about to run this test, but I'm really curious, how do you know Elena? Elena and I are roommates. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like pretty cool roommates? Like Yeah, we're kind of like best friends almost. Very good. All right, so we're at the 75 foot mark here and we're gonna go ahead and play the audio and then if once you hear it or you're kind of piecing it together, just let me know. Sounds good. Awesome. Well, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Hey Paul, so good news and bad news. I can hear it. I hear like muffled I hear it, sounds. But I don't, I can't make out what she's saying. No idea what she's saying. Sweet. All right, so we're at 75. Let's move up to 50. All right, thumbs up, Elena. Hey, Paul. So, good news and bad news. I finally got the dream job. I might have heard my name, but I don't know. No, this feels like close. We got to hear it. <laughs> I finally got the dream job that I've been working so hard for. I heard, hey, Paul, and somewhere at the end, she says, definitely. We're gonna go 25 to 10 and see if we can actually hear it. Let's do it. All right, Elena, thumbs up. Hey, Paul, so good news and bad news. I finally got the dream job that I've been working so hard for. Bad news is I'm gonna have to move out. Oh, I'm definitely gonna miss you. I have to move out? <laughs> I'm gonna miss you? Wait, are you leaving me? <laughs> No, no, no. I hope it's for a good reason. Yes, I got the job, so I'm moving. Oh. Thank you. Mm. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. I know you're gonna get this. Okay, so just to sum this up, we went from 75 feet, 50 feet, 25 feet, and we heard it only at 10 feet away from the car. So turbo success for the car, and well, oh, uh, if you need a roommate, a I'm, uh, I'm, I'm available. Hey, come on yeah, in. Yeah, so got a room open maybe, now. Maybe we can kind of work this out. Hey, Ashley, uh, just wanted to let you know that. Oh, I'm gonna get this on you. 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 I'm gonna get this on you
nervous, Reed. Yeah, of course I'm nervous, <laughs> man. So Reed is in our BMW 3 Series. How do you guys know each other? Oh, we like work together. I think about like four years now. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, let's run this test. Again, we're at 75 feet. We're gonna play the message, 60 decibels. We're gonna see what we can hear. Okay. I'm gonna give him the thumbs up. Hey, Ashley, uh, just want to let you know that. Did you hear anything at all? There's yeah. a very little. <laughs> all right, Reed, let's play it. Hey, Ashley, uh, just want to let you know that. I got another, I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> okay, we're at 25 feet. Let's give the thumbs up, all right. Okay. Hey, Ashley. I mean, shout out to BMW. Making sure, like, <laughs> their clients' privacy is top notch. Okay, we're at 10 feet. We have to we're hear it. Super now. close. Okay. All right, Reed, take it away. Hey, Ashley, uh, just want to let you know that. I think I heard my name at the top, like, hey, Ashley. <laughs> He looks really nervous. I don't know what he is saying, but he, lo he looks, I don't know why. <laughs> Just blink twice for help. Right. <laughs> this was not a part of the test, but I feel like we're just gonna move all the way up to about a foot. This experiment's going into OT. Okay. All right. We are literally within 12 inches of the vehicle. We are so close to this car. If we can't hear, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Reed, one more time. Hey, Ashley, uh, just want to let you know that. I heard the beginning it ends, the hey, Ashley, and then something, and then get coffee sometime, which, which, of course, let's get coffee. Okay, well, I mean, at <laughs> least I, that's a step in the I feel right like I missed the middle direction. Section. So we just gotta finish this one out. We're gonna go ahead and put the window down. Okay. <laughs> put it all the way down. All the way down. Yeah, all the way down. All right. All right, there now let's go. go ahead and play that message one more time. Hey, Ashley, uh, just want to let you know that I have a huge crush on you and I would love to <laughs> get coffee sometime or something. Okay. Did you hear so that? So I missed the, I missed the most important part. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's going through your head? What are you uh, I feel like uh, maybe I kind of had that feeling, you know, we're like super close at work and everything. I mean, like, why not get that? <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is great. Okay, so she's at least agreed, agreed to go get coffee. Of course. Look, the message got across. What we learned here is. One, um, that Reed has a huge crush on <laughs> Ashley. Uh, we learned that. Um, but also that the BMW is a great vehicle to keep your secrets inside of the car awesome. if you're speaking at regular volume, 60 yes. decibels, uh, uh, via Bluetooth in the car. To keep your confessions. Yeah, absolutely. A secret. <laughs>